mean, like I said, but they've been sitting doing it. I mean, in this room yeah. <laughs> for many years at my parents. So, okay. So remember the old uh, 007 in that? Yeah. And then I found this. Guys, check this out right here. Check this out. Look at that. GameCube got the dome light up secure. A lot of you guys were commenting on the last 10,000 R video game collection that the lighting on the shelves was poor. And don't I know it, without lights this looks bad, but guys, this little dome light I picked up from Walmart stitched up right to the dome here, I think that looks beautiful. Check this out, this is what it looks like, yeah. I haven't really figured out what to do with these right here yet, I, I kinda don't know how to work these, but we'll figure it out. Guys, this is the game shelf so far. Sitting over a thousand bucks at least, we're making some big progress, of course. Episode 350 something dollars in the budget and a thousand dollars on the shelves right here. We also have a Series S that still hasn't gotten any good offer. Picked it up in the first episode of the series and guys, it stunk really bad. At this point, it's been in here for a couple weeks. It's gotta smell good, right? Not gonna lie, it's getting really frustrating. It's turning into a serious full-time job filtering through the thousands of offers I'm getting for this Series S. Hey, can I trade you a broken Wii? No. And pardon me if you've done the trade game before, you can understand it. It can be tough. But bear with me here, guys. This is gonna sound strange. We have $150 in the budget. This is gonna sound strange. I'm gonna take that $150 and I'm about to buy a KitchenAid mixer. Yes, it sounds strange, I know. Y'all ain't never seen this before. I was actually watching a Chase After the Right Price video and I saw a KitchenAid mixer up on one of his shelves during his inventory run in one of his videos. And I thought to myself, why can't you trade that? KitchenAid mixers are in huge demand from parents, probably parents of kids that have opened grown their video games and they got them sitting in storage right now. Guys, there's a demand for KitchenAid mixers. What if? I posted an ad on Facebook Marketplace saying, I will trade you this brand new KitchenAid mixer for collections of old video games. Well, guess what? Someone reached out with a collection that I couldn't refuse and I don't have a KitchenAid mixer. Let me prep this with that. I don't actually own one. I just posted on there to see if I got any bites and I did. But luckily enough, I'm a connoisseur on Facebook Marketplace and I found one on Facebook Marketplace for 200 bucks. And am I gonna pay 200? No, we only have 150 in the budget. I'm gonna have to pay a little less than that. I asked if he would do 150. He said, yes, sir. It's a brand new KitchenAid mixer, 4.5 quarts. They sell for around three to 400 brand new. I don't know what the whole wholesale deal is, but there's a lot of people that sell these on Facebook Marketplace at a drastic discount for around 200 bucks. I wanted to get mine for 150 for obvious reasons, and I'm glad the guy actually took the deal. I'm about to pick it up again. I third video in the row. I, it's dark out. Don't do deals at dark. I caution. I warn you. You're gonna. You might get robbed. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Sorry about the delay. It's all good. Brand new, huh? Yes, sir. Oh, you want to count that out? Perfect. Awesome. You just buy these wholesale and yep. get a little profit on each one. Yeah, not much, but yeah, yeah works. Okay. Cool. Thank you. I just bought a KitchenAid mixer to trade for old video games. Comment down below if you've done something so crazy and obscure. Sometimes when the market is stale enough, you gotta get a little creative. Don't worry about these games. I'm actually giving them all for free. Guys, think outside the box. And in this case, you gotta think inside the KitchenAid box. They don't just cut cookies, they create deals. A little more information on this trade. Guy has a fat amount of systems that are gonna be going up right up on our shelves. Don't worry about that. And a big, nice little bit of games retro goodies, Sega, Nintendo, you name it. There is a definite reason why I took this tray right when it popped in. I'm talking $150 KitchenAid mixer for this insane lot. Are you kidding? <laughs> now I know you're getting sick and tired of waiting. When has this trade popped up? The guy's meeting me tonight. He wants this KitchenAid mixer for his wife tonight, so I'm bringing it to him tonight. Don't do deals at night. This is a double dose of deals at night. I feel like I've been doing it every video, but it's just been dark early for some reason. I don't know. Don't do deals at night. You might get raw. Crossing my finger on not getting jumped over a KitchenAid mixer and leaving home and stocking our shelves with some good old games. Let's go! What's up, dude? Hey. Yeah, you're going to need a band, but just okay. come down here. Sorry, dude. It's a mess right now. Um, if you want, if you want to check it out first. Yeah, I'll check it out. So this is what I got, man. This is like our family's collection over I time. see. Well, the only one that I think might be fried would be a Sega Saturn because I don't know why we'd have two. Ah, right. But 
I don't know. Why? If they're broken and stuff, I fix them easily. Good. It brought me back, man. It honestly <laughs> brought me back to yeah. being young again. Like, um, this one, uh, the Nintendo. So remember the old uh, 007 in that? Yeah. And then I found this. Golden Eye, yeah, that was a classic. You have the for Game sure. Shark that you plug in. Oh, for I don't cheating? know why it's taped, but yeah, I got that for <laughs> cheating there. And then you got the little plugins on the back. Yeah. Uh, like I said, so then, you know, I got that. And then it, any other power cords. If you want, dude, I'll just give you this whole freaking box. There's power cords in here. You got your yep. full axle thing. I'm going to take the bin back because we are. Yeah, let me grab the bin then. Yeah, it's really nice. Did you want to crack it open and uh, power it on? Really? Yeah. But well, hopefully you can do something with it, man. Like, I mean, hopefully. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I mean, like I said, but they've been sitting, dude. I mean, in this boat yeah. <laughs> for many years at my parents. So okay. I'm just letting you know now, like, you know, I can't guarantee. But oh, no worries at all. I don't worry about that. Work. Like, I know they all do. Yep, all in the bin there. Oh, sweet. Can I get this damn thing? Holy shit. Those are okay. the attachments. Yeah, different mix and stuff. I think all this thing works, dude. Do you? Let's see. You got all this thing works. Yeah. Tilt it up and stuff, and this locks it. Okay. So it doesn't. Cool. That's sweet. Cool. cool. Easy enough for me, man. I'm not yeah. gonna make it hard on you. All right, man. Well, there's yeah. your toilet there. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Absolutely. Okay, thank you again. Yep, have a good one, man. Yep. Episode three of the $10,000 video game collection. Guys, we got a nice big pinball. Comment down below and let me know what your guys' craziest trade is today. Let me know if you can beat the KitchenAid mixer trade. We have a PlayStation 3 in place right here and we have a GameCube. Guys, there's systems in here that will definitely be going in, you know it. And these shelves are gonna look a little bit better because right now it's looking empty. $7 in the budget right now, that is no money at all. So some of this is gonna need to be sold. I might actually end up keeping all of it. Guys, you need to comment. You need to make sure that I sell some of this. I don't wanna start from scratch again, but I will if I have to. A wonderful gentleman indeed added in a ton of controllers in case we missed any of them, of course. And yeah, I'm seeing too many to count. But this is just all that I put on top right here. Let's get to a little bit more of the cream of the crop. Do I keep this NES advantage and put this on? The yeah, we definitely gotta keep this. We'll make a nice little NES shelf here, shouldn't we? I'll organize that a little bit more. Let's go ahead and start off with the NES. Looking yellower than Big Bird on a good Sunday afternoon in the sun. Game check, no game in there. What games do we have? Tetris on the list. Mario Bros. Duck Hunt and another copy of Tetris on the list. That's two of them right there. So we got one that we can sell. Milan's Secret Castle, that's going in the collection. Airwolf and Star Voyager for the NES lot right here. Not too bad for a Nintendo collection. And a pretty good start considering we have a bunch more here to go. Guys, I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit. That looks a lot better, thank you. Three controllers for the Nintendo 64 that's sitting in this bundle right here. One of them sounds like a baby rattle, unfortunately. This one's definitely broken and I don't mind about that because it is after party right there. So no thank you on that. Two controllers hey. though. NES Zapper was found in the lot with the NES Advantage. This will be a nice little NES shelf that I'll get going here at the end of the video and you'll see. A lot of Atari stuff, weirdly, that was in this bunch right here and three Sega Saturn controllers, these are sick. Now, originally when I started this $10,000 video game collection, I really wanted to focus on getting some more Sega stuff. We lacked Sega stuff in the last one. So Sega Saturn, Sega Dreamcast, Sega Sega Genesis. Anything Sega is fair game right here. Now, unfortunately, the guy had no Sega games. This guy was empty on all games pretty much besides NES and N64. Those are sick, but I'm still hoping to get some more Sega games in the future. Fingers crossed the guy hits me up again. He says his grandma's got all that stuff tied up in a box in the attic. All the games he had. He said he had a bunch of Sega Saturn games. So let's hope that pans out. Deep in the lot 
spot right here, we got a Sega Saturn console. Looking pretty dusty and dirty, but still really sick to see any games in, in there. At oh, we got Madden 97, so one Sega Saturn game, so we'll keep that in there. A Sega Saturn console with the controllers is really sick to see. We got a set. Oh, another Sega Saturn. Why did I forget this was in there? I don't know. Why did the guy have two Sega Saturns? Maybe one is broken. I don't know. So we got one to sell. I'm going to have to test them both out and see which one doesn't work, but still, two Sega Saturns for a $150 KitchenAid mixer. That's sick. We got a Nintendo 64 right here. Does it have the expansion pack? No! It's a jumper pack but with the original sticker on it. That's still kind of sick. The N64 looks clean. Probably works great. It's going on a shelf to beautifully display. Along with these games that we got right here, what do we got? We got Gex 64, Star Wars Episode 1 Racer, Cruising World, Battle Tanks, a 3DO title, Rush 2049. I thought this was a big gem, but it is not. It is just a quick $20 bill. Hang time. 007 Goldeneye. That one's got to be going right in there to be displayed. Rush Extreme Racing to tie up with Rush 2049. We got a red game here. Acclaim Sports. Jerry McGrath. Supercross 2000. And finally, Blitz 2001. No Marios, no Zeldas, no Grails, unfortunately. But they're N64 games. You can't complain. Couple PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3 games. Madden 10 in 2003. And GTA San Andreas. You got to discard these games. Of course, we're going to keep them still. We might actually have Madden 10, do we? Doesn't look like we do. Finally, we have a PlayStation 2 fat in all right condition. Guys, is this going on the shelf or not? I'd say no, because we have a backwards compatible PS3 right there that we're gonna keep. That plays PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, and PlayStation 3 games. So one more thing on the sale lot right there. We got the Saturn, we got the PS2. Things are gonna be out for sale, including one of the Tetrises right there. A little tidbit on how I was feeling when I purchased that KitchenAid mixer, I was sketched out. The people looked a little bonkers. So they were looking for cash, I can Tell. Trust me, I've been in the situation of desperation and needed cash quick, and I've done some sketchy stuff, let me tell you. I'm not gonna talk about that right now, I'm gonna save it for a future video. Someone comment down below if you know how these wholesale KitchenAid sellers, they, how they work. Where do they get these things? Are they return pallets from Amazon? I don't know. Where's their profit margin? I'm curious. Of course, a lot of stuff is going into the sale bin. Hopefully, we have a little bit more funds than $7 next time. Currently not collecting for Atari, so all the Atari stuff has to go. There actually might be some value oh in some of these joy cons right here we'll keep two of the sega saturn controllers and disperse of one with the other sega saturn system i'm really hoping that works right there gotta throw this way i don't even want that anyways the guy was super happy he got to test it out he traded out all the stuff he didn't even want and now we got some solid stuff to add to our collection i think it's about time we do that